as I draw you near in that place where there is no fear draw close to me see what I've made you to be in that place of glory in the heavenly Come close to me. Feel the kisses of my lips. Feel the warmth of my embrace. Come near to me. separate you from me. Lay aside the fears. Lay aside every offense. Lay those things aside now. Draw near in full assurance of my love and my embrace. She's just um, silent and still, and she's in my arms. And she doesn't need to say anything. She doesn't need to do anything, because she's my daughter. So I just want her to be in my arms. And we don't need to say anything. We don't need to do anything. Because God just loves us anyway. And he wants us just to be in his arms. Just be still, just be silent, just be listening to him. Because when he loves us. You know, that's, that's the greatest place of power. It's being in his arms, lost in him. It's the greatest place 
of healing is to be in his arms. That's where the, the riches are. The riches are not in gold and silver or any such thing. The riches are in the kisses of his lips and his arms around you. That's the greatest. That's the greatest. You know, I was recently in the Philippines. We traveled, I traveled a long way, spent a lot of money on tickets. And I got to the meetings, and there were 12 people for these meetings. And at first I was disappointed, you know, all this travel, and all this way for such a small meeting. And then the Lord spoke to me, and he said, you don't know who these people are. You don't know who it is I've gathered here. And why I brought you here from afar. These are my people. They carry my destiny. They have my potential. And so for 12 people, I preached as though we were 12,000. And I put everything into it. And I got to a point where we were, we'd spoken about visiting and opening up third heaven and coming into third heaven. And I said, now let's do it. And I do what I usually do at that time. I, I see Jesus sitting on a rock in a green, beautiful field. And he opens up his arms and he says, now let the little children come to me. And I say, here I come. Yeah. Here I come. Because I may look old to you, but compared to the Lord in heaven, I'm just a child. And so I ran to him and I crawled up in his lap and he wrapped his arms around me and he began to kiss me right on the top of my head. Just many kisses right on the top of my head. And I just felt the Lord say, you did it like I would have done it. And I'll tell you, that's where the treasure is. That's where the treasure is. It's in Jesus' arms. And it's the kisses of his lips. And that's all I want. That's all I long for to someday stand with him and have him put his arm around me and say, you did it like I would have done it. That's all I live for. That's where the gold is. That's where his heart is. Just pursue that. So when you feel his arms around you and you feel the kisses of his lips, you've got the gold come back and visit, get it more often. He's drawing you, he's saying, come up here. Come up here. Come up here. Have no fear. Have no fear. Come up here. Come up here with me. Open up your eyes and see all that I have prepared for you to be. No fear, but come up here. Come up here. Draw near. Who really wants to speak to us out of Habakkuk? stand there watch. Who will set themselves apart on the ramparts so that I may call them and they will come and listen to me. And again I feel the Lord saying that the revelation for one door is open just as it was open to John because he wants to call us up higher and show us things yet to come. The things yet to come are the storehouses in heaven that he wants to open up and flood this earth. <coughs> so who will answer the call? Who will set themselves on that rampart? And coming here and saying what the Lord is saying to us. Because folks, God of the times, we're going to run to prophets and say, what's the Lord saying?
He wants to whisper his truths into our ears. But more than anything, he wants the intimates, intimacy of secrets whispered. So Lord, what are you saying now? What are you saying to each and every one of us in this room? Ask the Lord. You'll be amazed at what he'll say. Lord, what are you saying? Thank you.